The thing I love the most about the car really is the reaction they get from other people. Uh, people love the car. My name's Chris and this is my classic mini limo. For me, the word limo conjures up images of luxury, which isn't really what you get when you own a Mini. But Chris has managed to create a vehicle where the words Mini and limo come together. This is the Mini Limo. You'll see that we have an extra door. This door is exactly the same size door as this one. Inside, we've got two rear-facing seats. These were donated from a Land Rover Discovery. They're the seats out the back that fold down. The rear seat has actually been extended by four inches to make it four inches deeper. Right, let's take it for a spin. Because it's got a longer wheelbase, rides bumps more smoothly, and it's got a bit more stability. Top speed, it'll cruise at about 85 comfortably. It costs approximately 13 to 14,000 pounds to build the Mini Limo, including the parts that we used at the time. We have a slightly modified 1275 GT engine. This has been bored out to 1293 and then it's got a long gearbox in it so that it cruises at a high speed quite nicely and with a few extra trick bits on it just to give it a bit more power. And what was the reason for building such a unique mini conversion? For love, of course. I had a classic mini and uh, I joined a mini club. I met Chris and then, and, uh, then you asked me out. I shot a date. And the rest is history. I'd say it was my idea. I thought it would be a nice wedding car for us, seeing as the Minis brought us together. But we struggled to find one, didn't we? we did. So Chris thought he would just build one. <laughs> <laughs> Easy. I did a lot of the assembly of the car. She built the one-piece headlining that's in it, and she recovered all the interior. Working very late at night, working weekends on it, there was a lot of stress and a lot of expense. <laughs> It was ready three days before the wedding. It made the wedding. It did make the wedding, yeah. It made it very personal to us, didn't it? Yeah. After all the effort building this car, it served the couple well as their family has expanded. It provides the perfect vehicle for family days out. Albeit with the occasional difficulty. You don't really want to do a three-point turn in it. It's really heavy on the steering. There is no power steering and it's long. You really just want to back it up until you find somewhere where there's a space to back it into. And it's not just Chris and his family that love the car. It picks up new fans at every turn. It gets a lot of attention wherever you go. People love the car. My kids love it, my wife loves it. This car is part of my life now. 